is originally from Brazil, now fighting out of Huntington Beach, California. He has a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and a record of eight free and NXT competition. Standing five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in 170 pounds. Please welcome to the cage, Javier. Well, he's definitely a grappler. I mean, um, you know, jiu-jitsu, uh, he's born in Brazil. It's just part of his culture, he says, as far as uh, why he got into fighting. Um, he's won a lot of awards. I mean, he's, he's won some titles, Extreme Challenge, Lightweight Championship, um, BSDA, um, Pancrase Champion. So he is schooled with the strikes also. He's got an 8-3 no holds barred record. Very experienced fighter. Um, I think we got a great matchup here. Well, I'll tell you what. One thing I know about Fabiano Iha, and uh, most people in the Brazilian jiu-jitsu community know about him, is he's got one hell of an armbar from the guard. He's known for that. Everybody knows. If you know Fabiano Iha, you know him for, you know that he has an armbar from the guard. He says that he has an armbar. Yeah. He says that's his favorite yeah. technique, so yeah. it's no, it's no uh, secret. Yeah. But, uh, um, if, if Danny, if Danny Boy gets uh, caught in Fabiano's guard, um, it's kind of like he's being mounted. That's how good Fabiano he has guard is. Well, I'll tell you, we got a good. classic matchup yeah. here. Striker versus it, it, grappler. Absolutely. This will be explosive. Can Fabiano take Danny Boy down? Can Danny Boy avoid the takedown? Can he get some strikes in? Can he get a knee in there? Well, we'll find out. Thank you gonna happen right here. This is this is what Valadudo is all about. Well, I like this the matchup. First of all, grappler versus striker. striker. And Eha has the white trunks, and uh, Bennett has the blue shorts. Absolutely. So now we can even tell them apart. The striker with the right hand has the blue shorts. This is this is what no holds barred is all about, fellas. But you notice the grappler got in on him very quickly. Oh, he's got him down. He's in deep trouble now. This See? is exactly where Fabiano wants you to gotta, be. You got a kickboxer on his back. Exactly, and you got the jujitsu guy on top, side mount, Danny Boy is in trouble. And uh, it looks like Fabiano's going for his left arm. If Fabiano's going for Danny Boy's left arm, he's going for it. Oh, he, uh, oh, 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 he's going for it. He's oh, got he's it. got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it, it's over. That's it's it. over. That was beautiful, right there. Wow. Classic, classic. Just like the old days. Just like wow. the old days. I mean, uh, people have been saying lately that jiu-jitsu guys need to learn striking. While that's true, well, the strikers need to know grappling. They right. still Here need to know grappling. Here we got a case where a, a Thai boxer, very good on his feet, just taken to the ground quickly. He, I think yep. he might have thrown one right hand before he got taken down. And um, the jiu-jitsu fighter, much superior on the ground, goes right for the arm, gets it. Took him less I can, than five seconds. He smelled that left arm. He smelled it out, took it, stole it. Great fight, great fight. He great needed fight. that. Great fight, great move. Wow, very impressive. I was just trying to check out uh, Bennett a little bit. It looked like he might have had some type of injury. I don't know if. Uh, yeah, I'm sure his arm might have popped. It actually looked like uh, more he's touching his 